What's up and welcome back to Cleats to Whistle podcast. I'm Brad Valdez. I'm the lone wolf today, man. Uh, uh, Coach Watson's uh, daughter just graduated, so congratulations to his Congrats. daughter. Uh, it's a huge accomplishment, right, Coach? Absolutely. That, that's what our coach wants to see is just, you know, the kids walking across the a stage, man. It's a major. Major. So, man, we are back here at Atherton High School. <laughs> we have Anthony White here, man. I, I, I appreciate you for having me. Every time you're on, man, it's, it's juice. Oh, yeah, you got to bring it. Got to bring it, man. You got to bring it. But, let, hey, you guys had a historical season last year. You know, and, and it's, it's been, it was crazy, right? Okay, you guys went. The, the, I'm going to be talking for a little bit, man. All right? All right. Okay, so you got 2023 uh, Kentucky High School Coach of the Year right here. Yep. 11 and 2, yep. 3 and 0 district, yep. district championship. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, hey, we're going to keep rolling. Uh, uh, first appearance in the regional final ever, an 11 win season. And that's, a, that's another school record. That's first one ever. 11 straight. 11 straight. And that's yeah. what I was going to say. And that's another record is 11 consecutive. So, you, you know, you, we, if, if you watched episode two, go back out, check episode two, man. This guy, is, yeah, he brought the juice here. He'll bring the juice again. So, I, I just exciting uh, to have you back out. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you guys coming back out. The accolades that you got, man. I know, you you know, I mean, you're a humble guy, dude. You, you know, I mean, you don't want to taste. Yeah, you, beast. you don't want to take that and be like, oh, you know, pound my chest. You know what I mean? And that's the type of guy he is. Uh, so, you know, if you're a player watching this and never want to come to Atherton, man, this is the type of guy you're going to get. He's all about his players. Uh, a, a player's coach, man, but but a fiery guy in the sideline. Oh, yeah. Got to bring it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, it's serious out there. Yeah, it's serious. And, and you know, if I had Bryson on and, and you know, me, we have Kassan on, you know, I mean, I joke about guys. you. I, I talk about you walking up and down the sideline <laughs> looking at him and stuff. You know, and it just fires me up because you're watching you, man, it's just you can, you can tell the intensity out there. Yeah, I, nobody wants to lose. <laughs> nobody want to lose. Especially this know. guy. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Um, but yeah, man, just just the accolades that you got, man. Congratulations on it, and and, and you you know you're building you're building a beast here, man. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> one year at a time. Hey, exactly. Hey, one snap, right? One practice, one everything, one man. Day. And and they got like a a motto around here this season, man. And and it got me fired up when I seen it because the kids are going to be having it on here, and it's unfinished business. You, you know what I mean? How, how is that, you know, being the hunted now? You know what I mean? Kind of like the hunted, but you guys, want, you guys want that pressure, man. How, how are you, you know what I mean, so confident in that? The work that you put in. Um, we know they coming. You know, I told them last year that there will be a time where they're going to come. Um, we're circled on most teams' calendars now. Um, it, yeah. So I know there's some teams that we beat last year that they may say that we stole it, barely won, and so I know they're coming this year. Yeah. So, you know, the business still unfinished. <laughs> we understand that we've got to the third round, and if we come up short, it's a failure. You know, we understand that we was close to playing at Kroger Field, two games away, winning three of them to win it all at a place like Atherton, which is crazy, right? Right. When you first signed up, I didn't see it. But I chopped away, chopped away, chopped away. Now there's light at the end of the tunnel. And we see it. Yeah. Being still unfinished. That's our motto. <laughs> That's the motto, man. And, and you know, how, how are the kids handling, you know what I mean, that, that pressure? Um, we got some vets. We got some guys been playing since they was freshmen. Um, I know they may be rising juniors or seniors, but they got plenty of live reps, game reps. So they understand the pressure. So um, we haven't quite had this kind of pressure. So between now and August 23rd, my job to make sure they're ready to roll. Coach's job. We got to make sure they're ready. All kind of tests throughout the summer to prepare these boys for the pressure being hunted. Yep. Yep. And then with you, with you, you know what I mean? You're, you're part of the GLFCA, uh, you know, board and all that. You know, yep. you're on that committee, man. You guys are doing such great things, bringing that actually back, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. And – uh. Man, talk about that a little bit, man. Talk about the GLFCA. I mean, it's a huge event, 50-plus, you know, high school teams in it. Um, coming up as a coach, I've coached in the All-Star Games, and, um, you know, coming up I've seen them have the showcases and stuff like that. Uh, COVID hit, you know, how everything kind of slowed down, died down. Um, 
some guys stepped away, they retired, whatever the case, and I'm just like, why not? Some kids didn't have a chance to do it, and I'm like, I didn't want that for the kids coming up throughout the city, not just my school, but all schools in the association. So um, talking to Dancer, talking to some other guys, I just wanted to try to see if we could pick it back up, and it looks like thus far, good. All-star game, good. Showcase, good. So we're going to keep rolling, trying to build some more things into this association that ain't been done in a while. It's not, yeah, exactly. Because I, I, I've been coaching since, I think, 13 here, and that, that was the first, you know, really, really time that I heard of, about the GLFCA. So you guys are just bringing it back, trying to build it more, a little bit more. Trying to add a little something to it. Um, and it's been around for a long time, man. But, uh, but you know, it's time, time, this time. So uh, tables are turning. So I'm going to see what I can do to try to help boost the thing back up to where it needed to be. There you go. That's what I say. He's, you got the irons in the fire, man. He's all over the place, boots man. Boots on the ground, man. One <laughs> thing I can say, I'm boots on the ground. He's, yeah, boots on the ground, man. Players coach and, and just being that dude. And, you know what I mean? No guy when you see one. That, hey, no guy when you see one. This guy is it, man. I mean, that is it. Yeah. That is it. You that, got to know a guy when you see one. <laughs> Shame on you if you don't. Exactly. Exactly, man. But uh, you also have this minority coaches seven on seven coming up. You know what I mean? We're going to talk about your squad a little bit, but right, I want, I, you know what I mean? I want, I want to spotlight you too. You know what I mean? Cause you, enough. you're doing things in the community and getting exposure to these guys, man. Yes, and that's what it's about too, man. Is just, it's just having the, you know what I mean? That's why I want to come out, spotlight your guys so they can, you know, use it as a recruiting tool or do whatever they can, man, to get their name out, man. That's Absolutely. what it's, that's what it's all about. Well, thank you for that. Yeah. But talk about that minority seven on seven. So we started it last year. My first year, I wanted to start up, you know, start something up different that ain't been done here. You know, make my own legacy, right? Mm -hmm. So year one was eight teams. This year we were up to sixteen teams. We got teams from Indiana, Ohio, um, Paris, Kentucky, Lexington, Frankfurt, Louisville, Jeffersonville. Um. You know, so we've got them from the from the city, Oldham County. So we've got schools covering everything throughout the state, next door to us, and stuff yep. like that. Um, July thirteenth, uh, downtown, Blue City Complex, um, turf fields. It's gonna be great. Yeah. it's gonna be a great event. Vendors out there, fast cool. surface, sixteen teams, lineman challenge going on, whole bunch of whole bunch of good stuff. There you go, fellowshipping. Oh. You obviously being a minority coach, man, and building that brotherhood and bringing bringing other 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 cultures in. You know what I mean? Uh, from the from the Latinos, from from, from the from the black head coaches and stuff. That's just, that's just that's cool to see. Absolutely, because you you know you know what I mean. You, you don't it's, see that, especially not around here. Exactly. So that it's just an honor to you, man. It's just that that that's some that's some cool stuff. I appreciate that, man. I'm trying, man. I'm trying to pave a way, pave a new way. <laughs> yeah, man. It, it just fires me up seeing that. That you, you know, what I mean, you have a vision, and, you, and you're like, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it happen, and man, and, and it is growing. So, uh, how do they get a hold of you to, to get they a team can, in? Contact me, reach out to me, have a Twitter, email, phone number. Okay, cool. Most know how to contact. Me. Most know how, <laughs> but I will actually put your 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 uh, your e or Twitter handle in here, like I always do, and any vendors, anything like that, want to come out, support sponsors, anything, reach out. There we go. Let's go, July man. 13th, first Saturday. Let's after go. After the dead period. Yeah, and, and it's get, it's getting bigger, man, because, man, you guys got a little dust up at the end of that bad okay. boy. That fired me up. It's part of it. Part <laughs> hey, of boy, hey, boys being boys. Uh, yeah, Oh, yeah. We understand <laughs> it's part of it, man. You know, not always what you want to see, especially out of us, but, uh, <laughs> you know. It is what it is. Yeah, but it was it was a it's a it was a great environment. Kind of rained at the end, you know what I mean. Kind of kind of sucked. But now, you know, hopefully, got beautiful weather. Vendors come out, man. Get a hold of him. Actually, hit that uh, Twitter handle up and get a hold of him. Yep. Uh, well, let's let's grow this bad boy, man. Absolutely. Um, let's have a little fun with you, though, man. Right. Summer summer's here, dude. Okay. Summer. So you got you got plans for your summer? Football. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> this is my guy. Game planning. That's it. That's man. it. I'm, that's it. We on the clock. There we go, man. That's why I said unfinished business. Hey, the bull's eyes on their back. They, they, he, he knows it. Oh, yeah. yeah he, know, it. he knows I, it, I know man. every day I'm driving in this place. <laughs> they coming. All right, I promise you. <laughs> but uh, summertime-wise, man, it's really just focusing on ball this year, man. You know, uh, there's no time to go to the beach right now. 
there's work still to be done. Okay, okay. All right, this well, one that, of them years. I can't, I can't this year. I know they're coming. All right, I don't want them to catch that, me relaxing. That was my next question. Pool or the beach? The beach. The beach. Yeah. Man, I, I think it's too dirty, man. I mean, it is. The pool's dirty, too. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, the pool's dirty, too. Depends on where you go at. But I'm a beach kind of guy, if okay. I had to choose. There you go. There you go. Uh, water gun fight or balloon fight? Water balloon fight. Balloon fight, water balloon fight. Man, you know they make it so easy now, you know, because you can you can do that little hookup and do like a yeah, hundred. Yeah, back then it was one single, it was a tub, one to break on <laughs> yeah, you, you pop on you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everything's easy now for everybody. That, now they do it. Everything's I, but, easy. Now. But I love the Nerf gun fight. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? You got that big water gun and just ta da. You know Super what I mean? Soaker 3000 is yeah. what I had a green one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember those days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, if you're going on a road trip, man, what, what's, your, what's your favorite snack? Trolleys. Trolleys? Yep. Gummy bars. Sour Ooh. gummy bars. Which ones, though? You got the sour ones. You got the... It just depends. Sour, what are <laughs> The watermelons. Depend, depends on the day, right? It depends on the day. <laughs> oh, man. It's an awesome episode, but make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, we're trying. We're almost there to our 500 subscriber goal. Uh, we're at, like, 315, uh, and that's what that, that was our goal this year is to get to 500. So if you could hit that like button, comment, man, show some love, man, and, and comment down below, man, but hit that subscribe button. Let's get back into it, Coach, man. Um, coming out of spring, man, how are you feeling about this team? Um, confident. We're still young in some spots, but we're older in some spots too. Um, but we got a lot of talent. We got a lot of guys that can run, can tackle, um, and can make some plays. So if we don't get to where we need to be this year, it's on coaching, not on the kids this year. We okay. got the horses. I tell you that we well, got the horses. Well, you you kind of hit you got you, you know you got some guys late last season, so that kind of kind of helped you guys too. You know what I mean? Oh, you yeah. guys have a devastating injury in the running back room. And, and that was that that one hurt, man. Yeah. But you got you got a dog that was just sitting right there. He, hey, that little puppy was waiting to turn into this beast. You, you know. Um, hey, I'm a firm believer. If everything happens for a reason, I promise you. Yeah. I'm a firm believer. No, it's not right. Kids get hurt, but it's the game. You know, what I'm saying it's war. I tell them boys, it's casualties every Friday. Every Friday there will be casualties because it's war out there. Yeah. And when you got the soldiers. Is next man up mentality for this program. You know what I'm saying? We lost a ton of guys last year, whether they was ineligible, injuries, whatever the excuse was, but it was next man up. And that's just kind of how this program has been, It's next man up. You got to be ready. You'll play away. So um, it's good now that we got some depth to where the fall off ain't, ain't much. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So – um, we should going into this year should be a year where we should be good and solid across the board. Yeah. Too deep. Okay. Okay. Plus, you had uh, a, a surprise come in too a little late. You know what I mean? Uh, what was it, Parker? Right? Yeah. Well, Parker came in week four from an injury. Yeah. Um, Carrie got got in week seven, um, first game districts against Butler. Yeah. Um, so uh, we've got some guys back late last year. We had one um, eligible uh, when we played uh, Seneca. So we've got some guys ready to roll this year. Yeah. So and and just feeling feeling that confidence coming from them, just because they're you know what I mean they're going to have a full off season, full s spring ball, full summer ball. So so you're going to be rolling, baby. We should be rolling. We should bar any crazy injuries, bar anything crazy happening, busing situation, whatever excuses. If all if everything aligns like the stars did last year, we should be good. Let's go, man. Let's go. It's hey, if in, in the community here at Atherton, get out here, support this guy. Uh, Please, support, support the kids, not yeah, me. Support so, the kids. Well, yeah, exactly. Support these guys, man. Uh, because everything that you do for these, you know, for for this coach and for this staff, man, you, you're helping these young men. And that's what I think a lot of communities don't understand, man. Is that they're really, you know, helping these young men get stuff that they you, they usually wouldn't. Absolutely. So that's that's what I'm trying to say, man. Come out and support Friday nights, man. Uh, get their schedule, put it on your on your on your refrigerator, man, and get out here. And that's the purpose of this podcast is to get to know Coach and get to know these young men that are going to sacrifice so much this summer, man. Oh my God, a lot. It's it's a, it's a lot, man. Oh my God, it is. Yeah, and, and like you know, are you are you working camps this year, or are you just sticking to? 
I work some camps. I do a little bit of everything in summer, but I'm it's, but it's all ball oriented though. <laughs> all ball, yeah. baby. I got to keep sharpening that arm, man. <laughs> you know, and and we you know we've talked about you you know what I mean. The targets on your back. You guys probably talked about goals. You, you know what I mean. The goals around here are are gonna be huge. Um, talk about them a little bit, man. Uh, of course, you know we want to make sure that we you know hold it down again. Um in the districts, win that again, you know, starts there. Mm -hmm. um, we want to try to get back to the regional game and then go for Mer. Um, we're not overlooking nobody. We understand it's a new year. Everybody gets better. Um, but we know the main thing is the main thing. We know where we got last year, but um, that's last year's team. New team, new goals. District is one. Regional is two, Kroger Field is three. There you go. Anything less of that is a failure. And we and like I said, we tip our head to all opponents on the schedule. We truly do. Yeah. We respect them all. But we know what we have to be this year. Or it's a failure. Yeah. Yeah. That and you know what I mean, that fires me up is because you know what I mean, you you know, from last year we've talked until now, you know what I mean? It's still the same message. You know what I mean? It's a tweet a little bit. But game fifteen is that is that major prize, and 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 you're just you know what I mean boom stacking them days man stacking them good days and that's what it's about too. Yes sir. Damn it boy, let's go man. Fire yeah. me up man. And this is this is kind of like a, a serious you, you know topic touchy touchy topic man. And, and it's called like mental health. Okay. You know these kids around here man. You know we don't know what they go go home to and stuff like that. We don't know the, you know, when they leave us, we don't know what they do. Correct. You know what I mean? So do you, do you know, do you have an open door policy, man, where these guys can just, you know, come vent to you and, you know, you know what I mean? Just, just talk Absolutely. their feelings out. Absolutely, man. I, that's why I like to be a guy that's hands on with the kids, try to read body language, try to read, you know, mannerisms and, and, and just having an open door policy It's Vegas. That's what I tell them. Whatever goes on in her stays in her. Um, Players tell coaches things that they don't tell their parents. So we try to make sure that we, as coaches, keep that line of respect with the kids so they can come and talk to us when they are, you know, down and out. It's been a long year. Maybe I'm not playing as much. Academics is dropping. Stuff's going on at home. You know, might not have ate. Lights might be off. You know, there's a whole lot of things that, that as coaches we get thrown. Curveballs every day. Right. Mental health, you know, some kids step away because, you know, just because it's so, it's so demanding of a sport that some kids just can't take it. You know what I'm saying? So we try to make sure that we're an open book and that kids can feel comfortable coming and talking to us as men and as young men. Yeah. And, that, and, and you know what I mean? That's why I, kinda, I didn't really want to touch on it, but you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you know, the recent stuff that happened last weekend, you know, with the PGA and stuff, you, you know, you want to have them guys to, to where you really understand, like, you know, hey, you can come and talk to me. It's, it's I'm, I'm not your enemy. You know what I mean? I'm not your friend. I'm your coach. But, you know what I mean? If you need that that guy to lean on, man, I'll, I'll be that guy. And, and, that's, and that's like through your whole staff, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, man. Um, those are the kind of dudes that I have around me. I want guys similar – to myself, personable people, easy to talk to, um, because I'm not gonna always be around. Some players don't always want to talk to the head coach. They feel comfortable talking to their coordinators or guys they work with on the daily. I don't work with every kid every day, individuals or something like that. So they may have a coach that they're tighter with that they can go and talk to. There you go, man. It's all about the hey. It's all about the student athlete and and the head coach, the man. Relationships. The relationships that they that they build with Absolutely. you. Absolutely. You know, and like I say, you don't know what they go home to. Yep. So it's a good thing that they can vent to you. And 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 that's why I said just come out and support this guy. He's doing all. He's a he's a player's coach. Uh, he's hard sure. on him. He's hard on him. Right. Hey, he know he he knows he's hard on him. It's tough love though. Yeah, it's tough love. Cause life is harder. <laughs> Amen, man. Like, life be life. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? Because like, like when you were you know, when you were in the game, man, did you really – did you have that guy that, you know, you could go and talk to? My pops, yeah. Yeah, so – So that was a little bit easier because I had a daddy I can go talk to who understood, who's been through a lot. So whatever I brought between what nothing compared to what he's already been through. So many <laughs> guys don't have that. So yeah. they may lean more on the coach, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. I mentor, love it. a counselor, a principal, somebody like that. Yeah. 
I love it, man. I love it. Uh, let's touch on last season, though, man. Okay. Let, let's let's talk about the good, bad, the ugly of last season. You know what I mean? What, what was the good part? Or, you know what I mean? You can start anywhere, man. You can start with the good, bad, the ugly. You can just, you, you know. Uh, I guess the good would be doing what we did. You know, um, making a run, stars aligning, ball bouncing your way, um, support, news, accolades. That's the good. You know, um, I guess the bad would be it's over. On to a new year, yeah. and last year's last year. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't really say it's ugly, um, because ugly is, is is I don't I don't know about ugly, and you know it's just uh, it's something that I don't try to see. You know, bad is bad, bad is ugly. So there's good and bad to me. Yeah. All right, bad is ugly. Bad so, is ugly. So the bad that we did have, that's ugly. Um. And by no means was last year perfect. You know, there was some bad in it. But, you know, the Fight. good outweighed the bad. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know you what know. I mean? Yep. Going going 11 and 2. You know, and it was crazy because Coach uh, lost his first game of the season. And then, obviously, he lost in the regional finals, It's the man. first game and the last game of the it's year. The first and last, man. But you've learned so much in between that. Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. we learned so much about – how to win based on week one. Um, you know, we, we're at home. We're on the road. I mean, we're at home. We're up 20 to 3 versus a team we ain't beat in years. We on the high horse thinking that they that this veteran team was going to just quit and let up. And next thing you know, we get beat 31-20, and they go reel off 28 straight points on us. So that's the bad. That's the ugly. Yeah. You know, um, last game of the year. We're up. We're, we come out, open the drive, pick them off, ball inside the 30. We score second, third play of the game, call back for holding. You know, we come out, um, we score before halftime, make it 21 7, thinking that we got the ball coming out. They on side and they, you know, recover the ball. Yep. So that's some ugly to it. You know what I'm saying? Now that we've been there and done that, now we know. You know, so. Um, <laughs> There's a lot that we learned last year, and, and even in the games that we won, the tight games, Holy Cross, the 16-6 game, um, Odom County uh, down 10 in the fourth, come back and win by 10. Uh, I, I mean, last year we got thrown so many curveballs. I mean, just injuries, you know, just everything. If it could happen last year, it happened. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So anything that happens now, I'm numb to it, no matter if. If it's injuries, what whatever happens, it's supposed to happen. That's that's just how I am. I've got to roll with the punches. I can't do nothing about it. Whatever it is, good, bad, or ugly, that's just how I am at this point in, in my coaching career. It's just whatever happens, happens. Whatever happens, happens, man. Okay, we just got a couple more questions that's to cool. get you out of here, man. Uh, well, the the guys you want to spotlight today, man, you, you know what I mean? Talk talk about, you know, why you want to spotlight them. I mean, these are guys that's um, been with me, um, leaders, playmakers, great young men. Um, Michael Carey, the running back, uh, the man, the bell cow, um, big time back, one of the top backs in the city, if not the state, uh, the linebacker, Parker, the man in the middle, uh, who can do it all defensively and offensively. I mean, that kid, Parker, is a true football player. We didn't line <laughs> him up at every spot but quarterback and running back. I mean, he's been a receiver, tight end, D lineman, outside linebacker, now he's the middle linebacker. He is a true football player, and he shows it when he's out there. Big four. He's a big old. You can't miss four. You can't miss him, man. You know what I'm saying? And then the guy, Thompson, quarterback. He's been with me since freshman year. He's rolled it out. He's thugged it out, and he's still in it. Um, school's all-time leading pass and touchdowns and yards. Going into his senior year, he'll probably shatter it all, and, and it's going to be hard to catch him as far as yards and touchdowns just because he's been here. Um, been starting since his freshman year. He's took pretty much every snap. Um, so he's a vet, and he's ready to roll. He knows, but it's on him this year to lead this program to where it needs to go. 
but you got a back that can help you and a linebacker that's going to stop anything coming his way. <laughs> so down the middle of your team, but you got to be good. From the nose to the linebacker to the safety, from the center, quarterback, running back, and we straight down the middle of the team. We straight, straight. We good, good. Let's go. So make sure you pay A's. Hey, make sure you watch that episode, man. Uh, um, but I got one last question. Uh, you know, we, you learned about yourself, you know, as a team. What, what did you learn about yourself last year? Um, that I don't know at all. I don't have all the answers. I'm still a work in progress. Um, uh, I can coach. You know, seeing every adversity that was thrown our way last year, we <laughs> always found a way. Um, I mean, you know, that's that's kind of it. Like, I mean, every day, would you learn something new about yourself? I mean, so I like I said. Everything in a whole is that I'm still working on myself. The good, the bad, and the ugly about myself. I'm still a work in progress. My players, they get better in the offseason. Me as a coach, getting better in the offseason. So I'm working, they working, we working. No days off. Always, always working on yourself, coach. Absolutely. I, I love it, man. And that's why I said this guy fires me every time I come out here and talk to these guys. Uh, but, yeah, if you can, just make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please do. Uh, and come out here. If you're part of the Atherton community, man, come out, support this team. Uh, big things are going to happen uh, for this team this year. I, I'm fully confident in it, man. I, I, make sure you watch this episode coming up with the player profiles. It's going to be it's gonna be phenomenal, man. Uh, but like I always say, everyone has a story. Absolutely. We're here for them to tell it. Cleats to Whistle podcast.